How do you see somebody become from like an unprofessional photographer and develop into a professional career? What they should do to take the steps to become the professional photographer? I mean, the, the sort of the shortest answer is you just keep taking pictures. Mm -hmm. The more you take pictures, the better you get at it. The more your kind of your your innate sense, you know, your sixth sense of how to do it develops. Um, and I think you know you're working on your own style, and you're you, and you know you're working out what stories you want to tell and how you want to say it. Um, and obviously, the more you work, the more you you know you meet people, you learn about the business. Yeah. Um, I think having a point of view is very important, and the more you take pictures, the more you learn. You know what you want to take pictures of, so you're not necessarily taking the pictures that people told you to take or the pictures that you think are fashionable or cool. You know you're yeah. taking. You know, the really successful photographers, in, in my view, they have a point of view, mm -hmm. you know, they have something to say, yeah. and they, they say that thing. So they're not just saying, oh, I'll, I'll do this because it's, because it's cool or because that's what people want. Yeah. You know, they're, they're artists expressing a point of view. So I think the more you take pictures, the more you work out what your own point of view is. Yeah. That's very important. And, you know, then there's the stuff like you learn more you know, the technical side of it, how to talk to people and, re you know, relate to them mm -hmm. to get them to be comfortable being photographed. Um, so I guess, you know, it's practice. You know, I do yeah. view it as a, as a craft. Yeah. And the more you practice your craft, the better you are at it. Practice, yeah, good. So have you thought about, like, a, giving, like, master classes? It, it's something I've done a bit. I did I did a lecture series for the Royal Photographic Society all okay. around the UK. Um, and I've done a couple of Instagram uh, things which are actually on my um, Instagram feed, of, you know, of taking questions from people. Um, the, the problem I have at the moment is I'm so busy being a photographer, yes. I sort of don't want to stop being a photographer and take lots of time teaching. And I, yeah. I, I kind of wonder, you know, as I get older, uh, maybe, I, you know, I won't want to travel so much. You know, and a lot of my work is on location, so it does require right. a lot of travel. So I think... <clears throat> As, you know, maybe as I get older and I want to slow down a bit, I might say, okay, yeah. now is a good time to teach more. Yeah. And, you know, maybe I'll have more to teach then because I'll have been right. doing it yeah. for longer. Right. I think in terms of teaching, yeah, I'll probably do more like Instagram live yep. classes. And that, those, that works very well when people send me questions or write questions or send you questions and we do a list of questions. Exactly. You know, that's something I could do where I'd say, okay, let's, let's have 20 questions, say from, you know, say just from, you know, Chinese viewers, yeah. you know, we have a specific cultural interest there. And so then I just do an hour, you know, an Instagram live, yeah. we're going to just talk to, you know, people in China and answer their questions.